War, war break. No, I did that one already. War breaker, war breaker, break me a war. Hey internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and welcome to Raffo. New month, new box, and this has the thing that I've been most excited for since Brandon teased it at the beginning of the year. I'm not gonna need a stabby anymore after this. Let's open it up, the Warbreaker box, yeah! Oh, but I am gonna need a stabby for this. Stabity, stabity, stab me a stab. Here it is, the Warbreaker box. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Proof that Brandon is Hoyt. <laughs> Okay, so starting off, uh, Cosmere character pin. Ooh, sparkly. Uh, we've got Vivenna. Nice sparkly azure colored scarf. And explanatory thing. <laughs> I already know what these are. I'm glad I was right. So I was talking with someone on Dragonsteel staff at the last like volunteer night, because I volunteer at Dragonsteel as well for like the conventions and stuff. They were talking about the Elantris band-aids, which are stunning and like very thematic. And they said there was going to be something in the next, in the Warbreaker box that was along a similar vein. And I was like, ooh, can, can I guess what it is? Is it breath mints? It has to be breath mints, right? Because Warbreaker, breath. And so these are definitely breath mints. Aha, I was right. They're so pretty, gosh. So we've got Light Song and Blush Weaver, I assume. This looks like Mango. I mean, he's holding a mango, and then this one is, what, orange, citrus, something? The art style on these is awesome, too. Like, it's Aztec. Like, everything's squarish, and I love that. That's great. And then two very large boxes. <laughs> great job with the packaging, as usual. These boxes are just so pretty. <sighs> yeah! The Nightblood letter opener. I'm so excited. No, Nightblood, don't consume my soul. Da -na -na -na, Nightblood. <laughs> I'm so fantastic. So here it is. Canon version of what Nightblood looks like. With a lovely little stand. This is so cool. My goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. Ooh, I can use... Yeah! Destroy some junk mail. That's what it's totally going to be for. Inaugural use. This one's a lot heavier. Ooh! The foam flipped up and I got a glimpse. Oh my goodness. Those are gorgeous. Warbreaker coasters, like nice glass coasters. Are they, can you see through them? They do, they glow. <laughs> you can't see that. That's way too bright. I'll show you after. Again, very like Mayan looking artwork. Makes sense. Like that's what Titalier was sort of based on anyway. So yeah, four really nice glass coasters. Well done. Well done, Dragonsteel. Let's taste these mints. Wait, oh no, we'll look at the thing. Spoiler warning, this box contains Nalthus. Nightblood letter opener. Would you like to destroy some junk mail today? That is exactly what I have been saying ever since this was first teased. Or maybe you just want to put the Cosmere soul-sucking sapient sword on display. That's some good alliteration. On seeing pictures on social media, I've been... This has been spoiled for me a bit. Uh, but I saw someone who, like, wrapped the blade in aluminum foil which is incredibly amusing to me. Nalthus symbol drink coasters. Four drink coasters so colorful, you think you've reached the third heightening. Probably. Light Song and Blush Weaver mints. Light Song is mango. He's holding the mango. And then Blush Weaver probably is menthol. Oh, because there's, there's the plant in the background. That's mint. And from princess to pauper to unlikely world hopper, now Vivenna can add one more character roll to her list. Stowaway. Plus sparkly. It's sparkly, Vivenna. I love it. All right, we got to try the mints. Oh, oh, that is a, that's a powerful mint. Wow, Blush Weaver. <sighs> wow, cool, it's, that's so cool. They're, they're in like a little, like, thing. The reason why they have that cover is so you can open it completely and see the entire art. A little horrifying, but that's awesome. Whew, that is a potent mint. It's not quite curiously strong, but it is pretty strong. It's not chalky like an Altoid. Like, it actually is like a good breath mint. It's it's smooth. That's a good mint. And then Light Song. Oh, they open reverse. Wait, ooh, do they, like, connect it? No, they don't. Oh, they do! Oh, they totally do! They go that way! <laughs> so, yes, the line of breath between the two actually connects. And they, they're hinged on opposite sides like that. That's great. Let's try this mango. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. I'm a fruity flavor guy. That's quality. Lights on. You got good mints. And they make your breath so 
invested. Really well done, Dragonsteel. This is great. Um, I almost want to just like m display these with a light source behind because they look so cool lit up. Once again, utility things that are worthy of being art pieces. As usual, thank you, Dragonsteel, for such an awesome collection of items. Like, these are really awesome. I'm not sure how long these mints are going to last. My breath is going to be real good for a bit, and then I'm going to run out because they're yummy. Thank you for watching. If you have not already watched my Why You Should Read Warbreaker, if any of this is confusing to you, watch my Why you, you, you Should Read. Watch my Why You Should Read Warbreaker video. It's linked right there. Next week, we're going to dig into Secret Project 4. Everything we know about Secret Project 4. Roughly everything. I am reserving a few things if you haven't read the preview chapters yet. I don't want to spoil too much, but... All of the main points you're going to get. That video is already available to watch for my patrons. If you would like to join the illustrious ranks of Doug and Matt and Steve and Data Gremlin and Alec there and Craig, brand new Craig, welcome Craig! Please support me on Patreon where you can watch my videos early, you get access to all of my previous scripts and research notes, sneak peeks at what's coming in the future, as well as some excellent swag, which I have put away. I've got all my stickers made, pins are coming, working on t-shirts. All of that is also going to be available at my booth at Dragonsteel Con. If you haven't gotten tickets for Dragonsteel Con, those are linked in the description. The week after next week is going to be Fanax, which I'm going to be attending all weekend. Come say hi! I'm going to be in a panel talking about who would win in a fight in the Cosmere. We've all wanted to know. Let's decide definitively. The week after that, we're going to be digging into the Cosmere connections of Rhythm of War. I have not yet finished my reread, so I have a lot to read and find out. Oh, uh-oh. My microphone died. Sorry for the decrease in audio quality. <laughs> the end.